Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today we have an artist collab with our friends, the band Joan. We've got Alan and Steven. Yee! Welcome in, y'all. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. And yeehaw, right? Yeehaw, yeehaw indeed. All right, yeehaw. we're we're kind of neighbors, aren't we? Yeah. You know, we're, we're not just too far. Three hours south. Three That's hours a south. That's a neighbor. That's a neighbor. You know, you're you're in uh, rural areas. Everything's in yeah. relative. We're in the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> awesome, Joan. So y'all are. Um, how would you describe kind of your music? Let's talk a little bit about your, your latest album yeah. and how that kind of informs your, your selection for this coffee. Well, we are a duo here. Mm -hmm. uh, I would call our music generally pop, but you get, there's, that means so much to so many different people. <laughs> um, yeah, the, our debut album just released last week. It's called Super Glue, hence Super Brew. Super Brew. Clever. Uh, and um, yeah, it's been like five years in the making. We've done a lot of EPs and singles. Yeah. Um, but we just, we wanted to wait and figure out what Joan was before we like gave the world our first like. Sure. You know, that, an album still matters even in like a single driven, mm -hmm. you know, economy, our music economy. So yeah, we, we took our time on it and we're really proud of it. And um, yeah. yeah, I don't know, we love it. And as far as this collab, we're super stoked about it because coffee's a huge part of us, yep. and uh, it was like a dream collab to kind of do, so we're, we're yep. really stoked about it. Yep, well, that's awesome. Happy to have you here. Now, you did say you are a duo, mm -hmm. but you're open for like a, a, like a, yeah, you. a third we're, we're in the band. We're looking you're for a third, yes. Yeah, I yes. bring kind of like a, you know, I would call it, you know, kind of folksy. I, I'm an extremely artistic person. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. I think I, I would tell. bring a really interesting what do you What it. do you play? You know, I kind of <laughs> dabble in in what I would just call the music of life. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Alan's, Alan's actually been looking to replace me, my position for a <laughs> That's while. That's true. So <laughs> Since you're, day you're one, actually. Candidate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll see how this works out. We can, yeah, we can, yeah, uh, yeah, we can yeah. talk yeah. to you about this. This is the audition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in all reality, I, I am a music of brewing. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're going to... We're gonna turn y'all into super brewers. All right, I mean, let's I love go. That. So. Did you rehearse this? This is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hope I didn't, because otherwise <laughs> we need a new writer. Um, so we've got, uh, today we're gonna brew on the origami. So this love is it. a, uh, the origami air. Cool. It's a, effectively a plastic brewer. Um, and it's really versatile. So we could throw a flat bottom filter into this and brew it like our Kalita waves, like we do in our cafes. You could also throw a cone filter in here mm, um, and brew it kind of like a V60 or similar to what uh, maybe like a Chemex effectively would be. Yeah. This would be a little bit smaller than that. Um, I like the origami, it's versatile um, and it gives you all the options. Um, so uh, the coffee y'all chose today, can you tell me a little bit about why you chose this coffee? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's yeah. Do it. I mean, we have we have several kind of favorites of, of Onyx, and uh, this was kind of pulling from uh, several different favorite ones. Mm -hmm. uh, we like generally a uh, sort of lighter profile, I guess. Yeah. Like yeah. Lighter, fruitier. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this was kind of like the the dream uh, mix of that. So we'll drink anything, but I <laughs> I I tend to yeah. The darker it is, like I'm like one cup and done. Mm -hmm. I could drink. And probably shouldn't three cups in a row. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean. So. so, so if we're looking at our traditional to modern scale, traditional would be like our monarch blends. You yeah. kind of get something a little bit more. As we start to get a little bit brighter, more fruity and delicate, we get into geometry. And where we're sitting here, I consider this a pretty modern, yeah. uh, pretty modern blend. We're gonna get um, some nice citrus and fruit notes. Nice. Um, like confectionery sweetness in here and um, a little bit more delicate into a cup so when when we are brewing um, who who would you say likes brighter fruitier is there one of you who, or do you both like that Alan probably likes it yeah do you yeah, like a little bit more body texture mm, yeah. yeah but I, I still I still like fruity for the most part but yeah, yeah I, I, I can I can lean into the, the body even like for beer I'm gonna mm -hmm. lean more toward the lighter stuff yeah over the darker stuff yeah. interesting yeah yeah so yeah and you I, I can go all over the place <laughs> he, he just likes it yeah period there we go <laughs> um, so uh, what I would like you to do Stephen let's grab a flat filter so this one here in the front okay and then can you hand us a cone filter yes 
Perfect. Go ahead and toss yours into your brewer. So we're going to do this, this origami. We're going to do the same amount of coffee, same amount of water, same grind size even, but we're going to brew this in two, two different shaped brewers. And a lot of coffee pots have multiple shaped baskets that you, you can add in here. Effectively, a flat bottom dripper is going to give us a little bit more texture, mm -hmm. emphasis the citrus notes a little bit more, and sweetness. And then the cone filter is going to emphasize the um, delicate uh, notes in the coffee and the acidity. So we're gonna get a little bit more crisp, vibrant acidity, mm. the more delicate cup. We're gonna get a little bit more body and sweetness. I see um, why you asked uh, those questions cup. now. Yeah, I like yeah. That. so we can, like, we can customize things <laughs> you sneaky guy. simply based on uh, the shape that we, we make our coffee into. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah, so y'all both got your, your filters in here. Yep. Um, we're gonna be brewing a recipe. We have 20 grams of coffee okay, okay. ground in here, and we're going to brew uh, with 300 grams of water. So a um, little bit of a tighter ratio than a traditional drip coffee, and I think this will help because this is uh, can be a delicate coffee. And so we're going to tighten that ratio up a little bit, make sure we have that good strength of flavor that we're going to experience. This is the exact here. ratio I do at home. There you go. Boom. Nailed Look at it. That. All right, I'm, I'm a professional. Let's so do you're this. a professional. You should teach me how to do <laughs> okay. this. Okay, yeah. okay, well next. I'm just gonna yep, and sleep. Um, so, I've got a kettle right here behind you. Great. Let's grab that. Let's All grab right. this. Let's wet our paper filters first. Great. So you're just gonna hold that paper filter into place. Run that water over the top. You get the whole thing or just a little bit? Is that get too the much? the whole thing. I'm gonna push this in here yeah, just a little bit more. And then, Yep, sorry, I kind of poked it in a weird way. So just run that water all around the edges until it does, and then kind of dip your nose in there, see if it still smells like paper. No. No? No papes. Yeah. Okay, no Mine's papes. Gone. No papes, man. All right, let's take our brewers off and dump our water into the grate. Nice. If you don't have a grate, please don't just dump your water on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. Right. All right, water is dumped, and filters don't have to be perfect. <coughs> Effectively, I want it to be mostly even. Um, we've already ground your coffee. Why don't you all grab your coffee and dose it into your brewer? Right. There you go. And then pick up your brewer and give it a little shake. Make all these grounds flat. Yep, that's all there is to it. I just want ourselves to have a nice flat surface effectively prepping our canvas uh, for this art we're about to create. Mm. Let's turn on our scales. Let's get ready to brew. So first part of any pour over um, that I like to do is what we call the bloom. I want you to pour as light as you can, okay. shooting for 50 grams of water. So right. you're in, we're going to hit these power buttons and start our timer. Okay. And then we're going to pour as light as you can. There you go. Don't worry if your stream stops, just jump right back in. We're just trying to touch all the dry grounds. We should be around 50 grams of water. Y'all are really calibrated. Y'all finished exactly mm. the same time. Mm. Right? <laughs> Look at that. We do this every morning together. <laughs> <laughs> Crossed arms, <laughs> linked arms. All right, at 35 seconds, we're coming up on it. I want to pour really heavy in the middle okay. and then slowly spiral outside. Heavier, heavier, heavier. Okay. There we go. And then work your way to the outside. We are going to go up to 200. Okay. Heavier over there, Steven. Yep. Effectively, as heavy as this kettle is going to let me do it. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Something around right 200. Yep. Oh! Nice. Plus. We've lost our calibration. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, he's a few seconds behind, too. Oh, that's true. Yep. So we have a little difference on here. Nice. We're going to let this rest a little bit at a minute 30. I want to hit this again really heavy. Spiral outside okay. going up to 300. Do you want you hit the outside or you going back in and then you kind of do a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Depends on how slowly you move out. If I move out pretty quickly, I want to come back to the middle. Gotcha. Effectively, I just want to touch all the coffee evenly. Gotcha. So here we go. 130. You can drop in as heavy as this kettle's going to let you go. Okay. At 130. Mm hmm. Okay. Good job. Same same thing. Yep. I think you can go a little heavier still, Steve. Oh, I'm a little over. All good. We're good. Oh. Up to 300. Oh, sorry. Mm hmm. Mm 
There we go. Nice. Nice. And then at two minutes, we're going to finish it off. All the way up. Oh, wait, no. 300 is all we need. Sorry. Yep. Yep. Right. Okay. Too many recipes up in this head. <laughs> yep. So now we're letting this drip out. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to see... We should see a faster drain time on this one because it's a cone brewer and we have more water coming out the side of the paper. Got it. We're going to be a little bit slower on this one because the waves of this paper fit mm. into these ridges of this origami yeah. and slow that airflow, slow that drain down. So that's one reason why we're going to get more texture out gotcha, of this. Gotcha, gotcha. Effectively mm. a slower drain time. Um, but yeah, when we grind this coffee too coarse or if we use too much coffee in here, this cup is going to be a little bit tart and sour and taste the flavor is going to feel underdeveloped as if you like undercooked it gotcha but then on the other side of things if we ground this too fine and it took way too long to drain like if this took five minutes to drain i'd expect it to be a little astringent mm. and then like dusty in the cup and like coating my tongue almost like an aspirin kind of oh. bitter to it so like when it. we get a good range in here we're nice and balanced we're getting a nice citrus acidity i expect to get a little bit of stone fruit i think plums and peaches uh we're gonna get a lightly floral honey so mm. think of that like that sweetness how that's gonna carry through uh, is the drain time kind of the main way you can tell like what the right grind is yeah okay. effectively i expect for this amount of coffee that it should take anywhere from three to four minutes gotcha. to get a good cup mm. and this coffee done we are done though sweet yep. Very good brews, both of you. Thanks. Nice job. We did it. All right, let's serve it up. All right. Is there an instruction here? There's not really any instructions. I like to usually just pour a little bit at first so it cools off a little bit and I can taste it. Because otherwise, you know, the amount of times I've burnt my tongue on these brew guides. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet, yeah. Man, as, as people who are professional vocalists and uh, um, artists probably don't want to burn your tongue. I try not to. Yep. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> she is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you want to tell me? That's okay. Next time. Next group. Next album. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see myself out. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> So, well, how was it? How was it? <laughs> I know this isn't your first pour over. No, it's not. Probably not even your first pour over this coffee. No, it's not, but what do we think? it's really good. It's amazing. Nice. It's really good. You know, I didn't mention it. We'll throw this on a card. Um, this was ground on three, sorry, four, on the fellow Ogen 2, which is around 610 micron setting. Uh, we'll throw in a few other grinders in those uh, settings. Um, at the end card of this this brew guide, sweet. Uh, so that you know, with a variety of grind si grinders, you can still get the same grind size that you're used to. Cool. Um, but yeah, when we bloom, we effectively just kind of split the rest of our pours into even numbers that make sense. Um, I don't always like to my water to drain all the way through, so if you notice, we had a little bit of water left in that brew bed mm -hmm. before we dropped in heavy with that kettle, get some agitation, keep a steady flow rate. Um, yeah, we're going to get a nice balanced cup out of that. So if you like it a little bit stronger, I recommend the flat bottom, mm -hmm. maybe even a tighter ratio if you like that. If you want a more delicate sipping cup, you know, a cone dripper, higher ratio is going to be really nice. Love Yum. it. Yum. Yeah. Delicious. Thanks. How's yours? Cheers, buddy. You know what? Mine's <laughs> really light. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> 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 I didn't even think about it. I'm just like, this is all for me. Sick. Yeah.